Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is intended for singles looking for new love, uh, who's coming towards you, your next relationship, your next date, um, your future ex. I don't know. We'll see what we get here. So if you do have a connection with somebody, I do offer uh, love readings on my channel. It's more of a love connection reading that you may already have with someone. So feel free to check those out if you like to. You're free to watch both if you like to. You can find the links below in the description box to your love and general readings, and you'll find it under the love readings. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male, female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that info is down below also in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. New love, incoming person. Please take it out. It resonates for you. So what I'm going to do here, Sagittarius, is with this deck here, is I'm going to get this person's energy. So we'll see what kind of energy, kind of energy they're in. It could be something from the past. It could be something they're going, you know, the energy they're in now, whatever comes out here. Then we'll get their spirit and soul energy with the life purpose deck. So we may see what they do career-wise, or just what their spirit soul energy is like. And then with the romance angels, we'll see what their love energy is like. Put that together, clarify it with the tarot, and then we'll look at how you would uh, feel towards one another. And then if there will be any blocks, challenges, advice, guidance, possible outcome. So Sagittarius, single, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general, collective. What is this new coming, incoming new person? What is their energy? For Sagittarius Collective Spirit, please. Thank you so much. New love. What is the person's energy? Spirit, please. Thank you. For Sagittarius Singles. Okay. I'm going to pull the oracles first. And then we'll get into the tarot. So let's see what their spirit and soul energy would be like. A new person, incoming love, new love, for Sagittarius single spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is this person's spirit and soul? Wow. Okay. <laughs> spirit and soul energy. Let's take one now for love. What is their love energy like? For Sagittarius singles, someone rising in Venus, male or female, general collective. What is this person incoming to Sagittarius looking for new love? What is this person's love energy? What would their love energy be like? Spirit, please. Right, that one sticking in my hand. All right. Let's see what we have for their energy. Okay. Well, we got sexuality, openness, sharing, beauty, and honor. And we have 13 there, which is four. Fours are all about stability. So I feel like this person um, <laughs> is not shy, is not afraid of who they are, what they are. They're very proud of themselves all the way around, um, their body, their image, who they are as a person. Um, could be a very sexual person also. Very open, sharing, beauty, and honor. So I'm not getting like a player. I just feel like somebody who is very passionate loyal, um, because it's all about beauty, you know, sharing, honoring that space between two, and being very open and not shy either, I feel. Okay, so I feel like they're ready for something new here. So let's see what their uh, spirit and soul. So we have animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. So this person... Could have a pet or pets. It could be, you know, a veterinarian or work, you know, with pets in some way, shape, or form, or animals in some way. But I feel like animals are a very big part of their life in some way, shape, or form. So I'm getting a very also they could have a very animalistic kind of nature about them also. And again, not in a bad way because it's right near that other card. But I feel like there's someone who's very uh, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate. You know, uh, they're very compassionate and empathetic when it comes to animals and even, you know, the needs of the world and, you know, third world countries and that kind of energy, not just animals, getting it all the way around. 
So it's kind of, they may, you know, work a lot with um, humanitarian causes and things like that also. Wow, it could be a humanitarian of some kind. All right, so let's see. I'm getting, you know, with the angel wings there. I mean, again, they could be male or female, almost like an angelic quality about them, but yet they got this side to them that's a little, um, getting like, <laughs> like good girl, bad girl, uh, you know, good boy, bad boy kind of vibe. So let's see what their love energy is. So we have released our ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this person may be still either stuck on an ex or they're in the process now of releasing something while well, a person that is no longer good for them. So they could be getting divorced. They could be breaking up. They could be, you know, clearing their energy from an ex. So we get to the tarot here. Um, let's see what this is about for Sagittarius. Let's clarify this energy for Sagittarius. It could have been a very passionate, um, intense connection they were in um, with the person here, and it was just too overwhelming. You know, maybe there wasn't really any love there. Maybe it was just a lot of, like, lust and passion. It was almost addictive and toxic. And they're like, you know what? I just want love, real love, true love, just not just this, you know, energy that's just draining me. I'm almost getting, like, devil energy. All right, so let's see. I just had the movie Nine and a Half Weeks come to my head, so that could be a situation they were in. Wow, okay. So, if you have never seen that movie, especially if you are young and if you're not an 80s person like I am, then uh, go Google Nine and a Half Weeks. <laughs> All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Sagittarius. What is this energy about this person? Nine of Wands. Yeah, so they've been through something here. Struggle, battle, fight. It's all about perseverance. Right? Passion energy again with the Nine of Wands. Seven of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like they finally put up their defenses in this connection. It was just too much. So we have the King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So, you know, they could have thought that this relationship was building or whatever they were in was building to something more with the Three of Pentacles, but the King of Swords, Gemini energy here, King or Queen, doesn't matter. It's all about seeing truth, clarity, um, cutting out things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking it kind of BS. So I feel like this person finally saw the true nature of that connection there and how, how it just drained their energy here. And uh, finally put a defense, their defenses up and finally cut this person out. They thought they were building something uh, stable, secure for the long term with the pentacle energy. But I think they finally seen it come to light that it wasn't going to go any more than just, I think, the passion. Finally realizing that. But they're ready also with the three pentacles to work on something real. But I feel like also this person is not afraid to be who they are. So let's see here. We have King of Pentacles now. Wow. And the Empress. Exactly. So this person really knows their value and their worth. King or Queen doesn't matter. But this is uh, Virgo energy. And we have here with the Empress, Libra or Taurus. Emperor, Empress. So they are in their Emperor, Empress-like power. They're standing strong in who they are. King of Pentacles is very smart. This person is going to be very smart, practical, wise for the future. They know their value and their worth. They know they're worth more than just being, um, I don't know, I don't want to say used, but more than just passion. That was just draining their energy. So, yeah, this person definitely is very stable now, secure, grounded, very smart, practical, wise, know, knows their value and their worth, with the empress energy, or emperor or empress here. And will only move forward in something new if it's exactly what they deserve, I feel. So I definitely feel like here they release their ex, their, their energy here. So, wow, okay. So let's see. Oh, all right, so now we know their energy. They finally let um, a very strong, passionate connection with somebody. Almost like addictive, I'm getting. 
uh, somebody from the past and uh, ready to work on something new, worked on themselves. Thought they were building something strong and stable for the future, but I think they come to realize with that sword, nope, cutting it out. I know my value, my worth, standing in true to who I am. Oh, not going to settle for less than anything that I deserve. I don't need to feel this energy of feeling like beat up and worn out and defensive. All right, sorry about that. I think the kids next door are riding around on their uh, dirt bikes. So, all right, so let's see how you would feel about this person, Sagittarius. Justice, Libra energy here. Two of Swords, so you're going to be a little indecisive about them. And the Eight of Swords. Wow, so for some reason, Sagittarius, you're going to be a little bit trapped in your head about them and indecisive about them. I feel like, I almost feel like you've been through the same thing they've been through. And now you want real justice in your life also. You want something that's balanced and honest and truthful. You could have almost uh, been almost through a divorce too or something like that with the justice system here. But you also want something that's fair, just, right, balanced, um, authentic. So I think you're going to be a little indecisive about this person, a little bit stuck in your head like, geez, I don't know. You could meet them around uh, the city or a lot, around like a courthouse or something like that. Feeling maybe at nighttime, so it could be just like walking around your neighborhood, like the city block or town or something here. Um, if you haven't met this person already, uh, this is new, so it would be somebody, um, I mean, you could, could know them, but this is intended for, uh, new love, so however that resonates for you. Do see water here, so maybe something about, you know, in a park, park bench. All right, so we have winter energy here. So Libra is fall, so I got fall fall into winter. So let's see how they would feel about you. Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like it's too much. Too much of a burden here. Eight of Cups. Feeling like I don't know if I want this. The Ace of Swords. So being um, it's a brand new beginning though. Success. Victory. Um, being open and honest and truthful. And again cutting away energies not serving Epiphany, aha moment, clarity, my divine clarity card. It's almost like you both are sitting in the same exact energy. You both have eights here, two eights. You have justice, which is almost kind of like the ace of swords. And the eight of cups they have of like turning their back, walking away, and you being indecisive. So you're both sitting in the same energy. So <laughs> you both are going to be like, um, I just want... Something pure, honest, true, simple, balanced, truthful, not settling for less. So this person is going to feel like a little overburdened by this and may feel like walking away from this energy here. And you're like, I don't know. I'm still trapped about something here. You could have both just released exes here. You know, there could have been, you know very passionate energy with both your exes. So it's almost like you're sitting both in the same energy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. I do feel like this person, though, is ready for something new, but just like a new like lease on life, I feel. All right. So, and I think you too with justice there. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the blocks, challenges could be. Ace of Cups. Oh my God, this is divinely guided, brand new beginning in love and emotions overflowing. So the love is here. What else? The Six of Pentacles. So there's the balance coming in. So it's going to be, um, let's see, Nine of Swords, stress, fear, worry, anxiety, <clears throat> sleepless nights, chariot, positive movement forward with cancer energy here, success, victory, balance, passion, Going after it, oh my god, and the lovers just flew out. Gemini. Wow. So this is a divinely guided soulmate energy. 
the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles could be very balanced if we could balance out. But there's going to be fear, worry, and stress that's going to probably prevent this from moving forward. But we got the lovers here, Gemini. There's only two people here. So physically, there's only two people. And I think mentally, for each of you, there'll be that other person from your past that still lingers from moving this forward. Divinely guided, brain new beginning in love. You could really, really balance each other out. You've both been through the same thing. If you could, you know, move forward here, we've got divine masculine and feminine with the chariot energy. Usually it shows the yin and the yang. I'm surprised they don't have a dark horse and a white horse. It's usually the masculine feminine energy po making positive movement forward. Success, victory. To what? <laughs> Lovers here, soulmate, twin flame energy. So we have Cancer, um, Cancer, Gemini. Wow. So, yeah, there's going to be definitely fear, stress, worry, anxiety here of this whole connection that's going to hold this back. It's divinely guided, bring the beginning in love. Very balanced, really balance each other out here. If you can move it forward in that balance, in the soulmate connection. Wow. Okay. So, um... We do have swords. We have summer energy into winter energy. All right. So let's see what the possible outcome could be for you, Sagittarius. The fools. There we are taking a leap of faith. Aquarius. Resetting. Resetting to zero. Jumping in. Taking a leap of faith. Five of Pentacles, but then we have lack of some kind or ghosting or, you know, neglect, abandonment. But we do have the Queen of Wands here, which could be um, Aries energy. Let's get one more. And the Devil. So there's that toxic energy still lingering from the past. Oh... So I feel, let's clarify the five of pentacles. So what is this about? The magician manifesting a brand new beginning. Nine of pentacles. So, you know, wanting to stay single, single perhaps. You know, nine of pentacles is my single independent person here. But manifesting a brand new beginning. So some people may be here like, okay, maybe just want, you know, the fun and the passion. But that's kind of like the past energy there. But being single, but manifesting new single way of life. I feel like some are going to want to be single for a while here, manifest a new life for themselves, being single, independent for a while here, before they're ready to take any kind of leaps forward in love. So there may be a feeling here of ghosting the other, or leaving the other out in the cold for a while here, while we become independent and manifest a whole new life for ourselves getting our passion drive ambition back in life so let's see uh what is the devil why is that here the moon pisces and the queen of swords wow so we got a matching couple we've got the king queen of swords um so we do have a magic couple, so soulmate twin flame energy, the moon. So, you know, secrets, I feel like secrets of the past may, you know, maybe you haven't been honest with one another, told each other about what you've been through in the past. So the moon energy could be about secrets or revealing, you know, what you've been through in the past. Because the queen of swords can be about open, honest, truthful communication about pains of the past, toxic situations of the past. So there may be some, you know, communication about that, conversations held about past relationships. And maybe you're both going to want to be, you know, single, independent for a while, do your own thing, and become, you know, grounded in that energy before taking any kind of leaps forward until you get your passion, your drive back for life. So let's see, anything else? And there you go. Wow, Ace of Pentacles energy. So we got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So this is a stable, grounded, new beginning, uh, long term. 
yeah, I feel like before any of you, either of you want something long term, the Ace of Pentacles here, it's stable, it's grounded, abundance, fulfillment for the future. You both are going to want to be stable and dependent in your own right before uh, coming together. But I feel like the connection is still going to be there. It's definitely a soulmate, twin flame energy. Wow. Okay, so let's get five from the bottom. So the seven of pentacles, yeah. Investing in yourselves, waiting um, kind of energy, analyzing, assessing. Knight of pentacles, very, very slow movement forward. Um, safe, practical, wise energy. Then we have very fiery, passionate movement forward. So I feel like once you've done your work, you've invested in yourself, you've analyzed, assessed, whatever here, what to invest, what not to invest, you know, done that work. Now we're moving forward very slowly, cautiously, practically, but again, very fiery, passionate. Here comes a communication. Here comes an offer of some kind, fiery, passionate communication, good news, offer coming in of, okay, we're ready now. Here comes the Page of Pentacles, offering something stable, and here's the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like, yeah, it could be a year. I mean, you could meet this person this year, but it may be like another year. And, you know, it doesn't mean you're not going to date other people, but I feel like this is a strong connection you both are going to feel. But I feel like you've both been through the same things in the past. And even though you feel the connection, uh, there's maybe a little bit of communication Friends, you know, friending, friend zone, or ghosting. But I feel like something may come into fruition here, maybe in like a year's time, when you meet this person. So, I mean, I would go on living your life, doing you, um, if you're dating other people or whatever. But I feel like um, here's the offer of something long, stable, grounded for the long term. And there's that good news coming in. Taking quick action on it. Again, we got um, spring energy. I know we're in spring right now, but there's fall. So I'm feeling like this may be like a year in the making, unfortunately, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Heavy energies there. All right, Sagittarius. Uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.